In the ever-evolving landscape of the financial sector, a powerful force is shaping the way businesses operate, innovate and succeed. Today, we embark on a journey to explore the strides made in the financial sector towards achieving true balance and inclusivity. In recognition of its commitment to promoting gender diversity in the workplace and beyond, the National Bank of Rwanda was awarded the Gender Seal Award in 2023. This prestigious accord not only acknowledges the bank's dedication to fostering an inclusive environment, but also serves as a testament to its exemplary efforts in breaking down barriers and setting a standard for organizations aspiring to create a workplace where diversity thrives. As we dive in the remarkable journey of gender diversity in Rwanda's financial sector, let this video serve a testament to the power of progress, inclusion, and shared prosperity. We raise or share the things that uh, people like the most. Uh, we increase the maternity leave for, from three months to four months. Uh, I think uh, many of our uh, women who are having uh, babies benefit from that, but also paternity leave was uh, increased to two weeks, which we believe is just fair, right? Uh, we also established in many of our branches uh, a mother room. Uh, this is a first step towards you know, getting a fully-fledged ECD. Uh, but here at, at the bank, for example, and in some of our branches, we have a mother room and, and people can, it's a breastfeeding room. They can get the baby to work, uh, breastfeed, spend some time. Another thing is uh, we have uh, training programs. We have the management training program, we have uh, the entry-level program uh, within the uh, Underbiki Academy. And we always make sure that we have 50% uh, women attending these, these programs. So we are sure that you know, we'll have more and more women in leadership positions. So we, we want to be an employer of choice. Uh, we want to attract uh, women because we believe uh, talent is e equally shared. Uh, but sometimes, we, you know, we don't give uh, women enough opportunities. And if you're able to get, because, you know, we are all in this talent war. People are looking for the best talent. Uh, and we believe that if other institutions see us as an institution that, you know, offer uh, the best working conditions for women and are able to attract uh, top women in the market, I think, you know, it will be an incentive for them to do the same. And uh, we'll all benefit. In the end, I think all women, uh, you know, all our communities will benefit from that. So at INM, everything starts with our brand promise. We are on your side. Being on the side of our clients, being on the side of our staff, requires us to have gender equality in all our dealings. So far, we have uh, implemented in our policies that uh, will be very sensitive to gender equality by making sure that uh, in our recruitment from onboarding, we have equal shares in, uh, in genders. For the moment, we have 46% of our employees being female, and we plan to increase up to 50%. INM Bank has gotten the gender seal, meaning that uh, the society recognizes our contribution towards gender equality. What we've done as part of uh, making sure that uh, we have a good environment for all to thrive, we know that uh, nursing mothers need more time and from time to time they need to work remotely. This has been implemented across all the units of the bank. In addition to that, we have a mother wellness center at the bank where mothers can bring their kids and they have uh, enough space and they are catered for by the bank. Although I mentioned that 46% of all employees are female, but at senior management level we have 50%. What we do uh, specifically is uh, regular engagement to make sure that staff understand the value of being gender-oriented, having equality among our workforce. Then we have uh, two programs which the bank is running. The first one is Women in Leadership, uh, where we are participating as a bank. The second is uh, Women in Finance, where we have been sending uh, every year our staff member to participate in this training. So we have seen that uh, productivity increases when you take care of your workforce. And um, we have seen that uh, ladies are very productive when you show that you care about them. And um, we encourage other institutions to adopt the same measures, even go beyond. We are still at the starting point, but we believe a lot needs to be done. 
So one of the things that we started with was really to do an audit and try to understand what are the issues around at the bank. And from the audit, we devised plans. And plans were looking at three core aspects. As you rightly said, one was policy, two was internally for the staff of the bank, and three was for our clients. So from a policy perspective, there are a couple of policies that needed to be adjusted, including policy around um, environmental and social safeguards, uh, policies around the gender pay, you know, changing how we remunerate to make sure that we close the gender pay. There are policies, you know, just generally around training, how do we support young mothers when it comes to training, how do we support them with the daycare. So many policies were put in place with the support of the board. And if I look at what kind of achievements we have had, I would say by far our biggest achievement is the daycare because we had very many you know, young women that we wanted to support in coming back to the office after uh, the fourth month. And what was very important to us at management at Exco level was to make sure that we brought the best service providers. So it's not, you know, it's not garderie, it's not a place where you just place your kids. It's actually a full Montessori based curriculum, daycare managed by Happy Hearts. So if an Exco member wants to have a baby, they would place their kids safely in that in that particular daycare. So it's not only having a daycare, it's also the quality of the services that you offer in the daycare to make sure that the kids have access to the best education possible. I'm able to bring my son every day to work and also go back home with him. Um, this has given me, you know, that sense of peace. And with no doubt, it also contributes on my productivity, on the job I do, uh, because I'm able to settle not worrying about what is happening at home. I've seen her growing mentally and physically and some ethic. So I'm really happy and uh, whenever I know that my daughter is here, I really work in a safe, safely. So now which helped me to improve a little more, more on my daily responsibilities. And then the second thing was really around training and giving women access to uh, trainings in country and abroad with the support of the company and we've seen that from one of the surveys that we did that actually young ladies who are between 25 and 35 felt like they didn't have training opportunities which was very odd for us because we've very been on capacity building and then we understood that actually every time we give them a training uh, opportunities like we're asking them to leave their kids behind so it, whether it's traveling to Nairobi to Washington to Niagatere Peak to Kivu Marina Bay those are travels that, you know, emotionally are quite charging for them. So we changed the policy to make sure that if you have a child that's below one year, you're actually able to uh, travel with your child and with a caretaker. To be honest, the cost to the company is very negligible, but what it has done to boost the capacity of young women to actually participate in trainings that are key to their managerial track has been fantastic. And this is because I know all the banks have the same problem. Our pipeline of women at mid-level management is very thin. So we need to do something to move the, the officer level up and give them a capacity to not choose through their life cycle to be able to participate and have the best talents actually engage in the managerial track. At NCBA, we purpose to be a gender equity leader, which means that we are constantly looking at building a culture which supports work-life management, careers and inclusion for all. Our communities, our flexi hours, our 14-day paternity leave, among others, help to create leaders, a sense of acceptance and fairness. The shadowing program at NCBA facilitated my transition from an admin assistant to a treasurer, demonstrating the potential of growth within the organization. I strongly believe that implementing similar programs in the financial sector promotes equality and breaks down gender biases. Additionally, participating in communities like the NCBA Toastmasters Club has developed my leadership and communication skills, leading me to further pursue other growth opportunities offered by the bank, like volunteering in Women in Finance Rwanda. NCBA allows fathers to spread the 14-day paternity leave over a period of six months, hence promoting flexibility and stronger family bonds. In addition to the 14 weeks maternity, our mothers get to enjoy flexi work hours for a period of two months, hence promoting a work-life balance. Inspired by the success of the Mother's Room at Head Office, we aim to expand it to all our branches to support mothers throughout our network. Please join us in building high-performance businesses built on equity and fairness. By embracing diversity and ensuring equal opportunities for all, organizations can unlock the full potential of their teams and drive sustainable success. Thank you.